I came straight to Lyme Veterans UK from Headley Court following my accident. I was referred there from, uh, by the doctors. I was suffering from a very bad depression for, for quite some time and it's the luckiest thing that's ever happened to me. The training was, uh, was, was several fold. There was mobility, which is the you know, big part of it, getting yourself around. But there was also uh, IT training on computers, uh, learning to use speech output on the computers. Amazing piece of kit. And, uh, but then the simple things like making a cup of tea, using the little buzzer that hangs on the cup, liquid level indicator. That was a big day, the first day I made a cup of tea for myself. You know, it, uh, it's something you never thought that one day you would think making a cup of tea was one of the biggest achievements you'd ever done. It's amazing. It's all about confidence and uh, living independently. So not only did I get a lot of help when I was in the centre, it was once I moved out and started living on my own out in the community as well. I had a lot of help learning the routes around my local area and being able to get myself to the shops, the post office and this kind of thing. I mean, that's, that's helped enormously. The first time I went out on my own, literally just on my own with my white cane, that was a massive day. <laughs> Uh, I walked myself down to Rotting Dean from the centre to get my hair cut. Being able to get around, I mean, my independence is probably the thing I value the most above everything. Being able to get myself around my local area, look after myself, do my own shopping and this kind of thing is uh, priceless. It's been a long old road, but I eventually went on to, uh, to set some world records. I've driven a powerboat around the Isle of Wight. Uh, and set a speed record for that. I did the world water speed record on Windermere. I was a diver before I lost my sight and it was the first thing I decided, look, I want to do this. So uh, I got some help from uh, some friends of mine and eventually ended up setting a new world record at uh, scuba diving for the, the deepest depth done by a blind diver. So it's all there to do and I would only have ever been able to achieve these things with the confidence and the help I've got built up by uh, help from Blind Veterans UK. When I started my training, what is interesting, one of the things I was told was, look, this is not an old folks' home. The reason there are no youngsters here kicking around in the building is because they're all living independently in their own homes. Obviously, the young guys come in for training and, uh, and get it and, and, and go away to help them live independently. So you can take as much or as little help as you want or indeed as you need from, uh, from the charity. Nobody's going to force anything on you. It's, uh, it's absolutely fantastic. I would have been lost without Blind Veterans UK, absolutely lost. I'm lucky that uh, I only live a couple of miles up the road from the Brighton Centre, so I tend to come in and use the gym uh, most weekdays, to be honest. It's a fantastic facility to have on your doorstep and to be able to use. And uh, you also know if there's anything you need, if there's any help you need with anything or uh, any advice, all you've got to do is ask while you're here. I think the big thing is that that help is there for life and you know full well that if there's anything you need you, you've just got to ring up and ask. They'll always assess what's best for you and it, uh, that's always going to be there, that help. The biggest thing I've got from Blind Veterans is my independence, without a doubt. The ability to get myself around uh, just with a white cane, do my own shopping, my own cooking. It's the same sense of achievement as hurtling along at 100 miles an hour. OK, you've not got the adrenaline of a powerboat doing 100 miles an hour, but that sense of achievement, having done that, look, you know, I did that, was, was absolutely amazing. So you don't underestimate the, the little things, you know.